Once upon a time, there was a lonely monkey in space. He had a family and he had friends, but he still felt lonely. He decided to go on an adventure in his space egg ship. He had never seen outside his own planet, never mind the amazing colours of his nearby universe. He was scared, but excited to see what awaited him in far off lands. He saw a broccoli head worm snake and asked him if there was anything interesting in the area. The broccoli head worm snake replied, If you are looking for something interesting, then look no further, for I am the most interesting thing in this galaxy. The monkey shrieked, Yes, you are interesting, but I think I'll keep looking. I want to see the most interesting thing ever. The monkey was never satisfied. So he continued on through space. And he had a bit of a dance. Because things were getting kind of good. He liked the things he was seeing. His mood was good. So he had a bit of a boogie. Uh, I'm a monkey. Yeah. In space. Uh, I saw a broccoli head worm snake. And it was Ace but I'm gonna keep looking in space for the most interesting thing that my face can see. So I will be happier. Oh yeah. <sighs> deeper and deeper into space he went. But things started to get a little bit strange as he went through space. Skull monster of Xenogrophia. Be afraid, monkey, for I will eat you. <sighs> monkey was scared, so decided to hear his favorite piece of music in his head because it made him feel calmer. <sighs> That's not making me calm. There we go. He fell asleep for a long time. <sighs> oh, I feel a bit sleepy myself, actually. When he woke up, he was back in his garden on his own planet. Wow, what a messed up dream, he thought. But boy, am I glad to be home. He vowed to stay put and was happy with what he had. Sometimes, it's just better to stay at home.
The end. I hope you enjoyed my book creator book with music, which is what you're going to do. So stay tuned while I explain how it works. Ciao for now. Okay, grade three. So um, you've just heard the story or maybe you haven't watched the story. If you haven't watched it, it's okay. Uh, and we're going to add some new music to my book creator book. So first, let's just add a new a new page. Uh, actually, new page here. Well, I've already put a background on it. So there you go. There's page nine. There's my background. Um, and let's just put, I don't know, a couple of emojis in there just for fun. What am I going to go for? Should we go for sad? Let's see, sad. Sad. Okay. So let's say you want to make a story and there's a sad element to the story. Um, so I'm going to find some sad music. Now, there are three websites I recommend to find royalty-free music. What this means is you can use the music and you don't have to pay anybody uh, as long as you say at the end of your book creator book, I use this website for my music, but you won't get in any trouble. It's free to use as long as you say, um, kind of give kudos to the person who made the track. Okay, so I'll show you that in a bit. First one I'm going to show you is called Ben Sound. This is a really cool website with lots of great free music in there. Um, you can just, anything that says download on it means you can download it for free. If it says purchase, which means to buy, then you can download it for free. So for example, I'm going to click on, I don't know, cinematic. Uh, and this shows you cinematic music and let's see what some of these sound like. It's quite happy. Not quite what I'm looking for. So maybe I need to do a bit of a search for something sad, otherwise I might be here for a long time. So I've searched in the word sad, and we've got, oh, quite a few sad pieces of music here. What's this one? And you might not want to listen to them for a while to decide. So you see, this one says purchase, so I can't download that one, but let's have a look at this one. Let's try this one. Ooh, I like that. So I'm going to download that. I just like the initial first chord there. Um, so I'm going to download it. It says here, free Creative Commons license, pro license. I'm going to just click download here. Now, all different computers the music you download goes to a different place. Mine goes to down here. Some people's music goes up here. If you don't know where it goes, ask one of your parents or somebody at home to help you. So I'm going to find that so I know what it looks like. So I know what the name of the song is I just download. If I remember rightly, it's called November. So um, just go to Finder again. November is the name of the song. So I have to remember it's called November. If I want, I can rename it. Um, and just call it Sad Song from Ben Sand. If you want, you can give it whatever name you want. The original name is called November. So now I'm going to go back to my book creator, add, I'm going to import and go to files. And click on files and go to my recent downloads. And what did we just call it? Sad. So I'm going to look for here and there's different ways different computers you can do this you got to find it sad song there it is from ben sound sad song from ben sound so i'm going to open that and it should just go straight in it's a little bit slow today so there it is it's uploading and then it's right in the book in book creator so you don't need to go to an external page I'm going to move that around. So when someone comes to click on my book, they will just listen to this song. Ah, wait a minute. And there it is, in Book Creator. This is what I did for my first few pages in the book. As you can see here, there's a, some music there. Now, let's try to find some other websites where you can also find music. So the first one was called Ben Sound. Okay, you can search that. 
There's also one called Free Stock Music. Freestockmusic.com. This is pretty cool. You can search by mood. So if you're looking for something, I don't know, some bizarre or energetic, powerful music, you can click. So you search here and you click search. And I'll find oh, all this energetic, powerful music. Let's see what this sounds like. It's quite nice. So again, you can search for all kinds of stuff in this one. If I want to go for uh, strange music, let's see what strange music they have on here. So I'll search for strange music and let's have a look. Ooh, click on the first one. Oh, that's cool. I don't think that's strange at all. And again, you can download it for free. You just on this one it's a little bit different so it goes to an extra page you free download and it just takes it to the same place here it's called joe Cotti skip so that's also a good site and the next one is called free music archive free music archive.com i shall link all these into a document for you and again you just search free music archive and you can just click uh, search here i think the best way to do it is to go to genres or you can just click on a word you want let's have a look uh, let's try start again. Go. Search. So I've used the word sad to find some sad music. And all these are sad. Let's have a look. You get the idea. And then you do the same thing and you can upload it into your book creator. Another thing you can do is to take your um, Chrome Music Lab song. And you've got... Download it and put it into Book Creator or just share the link. So let's see. Chrome Music Lab. Ah, oh, I should have just gone straight to Songwriter. I'm sorry for wasting your time, guys. Just go to here. And there's my song. It's terrible. And then I'm going to go save. Oh, save it like this. And now I'm going to copy the link. I'm copy that link. Just click to there. Copy the link. Now I'm going to go to here. I can add. I'm going to add. I think it's import again. Embed. So click on embed. I'm going to type, paste it in there. Confirm web link. Add to book. Now it's come up just like this. So when you're reading the book, you can click on there. And it'll take you straight to the music I just made. Okay, so that's how that works. You can also obviously use GarageBand. Lots of you have GarageBand and iPads. You just go to export and you export the song as an MP3 to your iPad. And then you can upload it from there. That's also very simple. Um, what else did I do? Oh, you can also just have a link into YouTube. So again, if you've got a, a YouTube piece of classical music you really like. Ah, go back a minute. We'll open YouTube in a new window. Um, so one of my favorite pieces of classical music is Shostakovich Piano Concerto Number 2. With slow movement. So I can link that in. I'll just show you how to do that. Second movement. And this is just a, a simple copy and paste trick. So I'm going to copy there. Now, if you want the music to start from a certain section, watch. Right. So I want my music to start right on 110. So let's see. 109. So when I share it, I click on share, and there's a little start thing there. So I want the music to start at 109. I'm going to copy that link, go back to Book Creator. I'm going to add text, and I'm going to click link, and I'm going to put that straight in there. That's how you do it. 
and then I can move this somewhere you can see it. You can also embolden it so it's just easier to see. And then when I click on there, it will turn me to the external window. And I'm going to delete this one. So obviously this has got a bit messy, but you can add a link here. You can make your Chrome Music Lab song, or you can uh, insert a link from YouTube. Okay, so there's those three things you can do. Uh, enjoy, guys. I look forward to seeing your stories. Um, we originally said your migration story had to be about somebody migrating from one place to another. I think just make a story, a fun story with a main character. Make it as wacky or serious as you like. Um, and just have some fun with making a story using Book Creator and adding music. You can also record yourself playing ukulele, record yourself playing piano, and use that music in Book Creator as well. There's many, many, many things you can do. Uh, thanks for your patience today. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to uh, send me an email. Or uh, yeah, email's the best way. Uh, sometimes things get a bit lost on Seesaw. Just send me an email. Mr. Peter, how do I do this? And uh, I will let you know.